Hi, I'm Renny Weir of WeirGuitarLessons.com. Today I'm going to show you a nice tasty little riff using the blues minor pentatonic scale in the key of E utilizing the open position, the open strings at the nut of the guitar. Let me play it in context, at tempo, and then I'll explain to you exactly what's going on. explain exactly what I'm doing so that you guys can play it out there in Cyberland. First of all, I'm using with my right hand picking motion, usually mostly downstrokes. It makes no difference whether you play downstrokes or upstrokes at all. With my left hand, I'm doing a technique called pulling off, pulling off notes, where you actually hit a note, then pull downward to sound the note behind it. Pulling off or pulling down of your finger away from the string actually sounds the notes, but most of you guys know this by now. Okay, all six strings are used, and almost exclusively till the very end, and I'll explain why, what fingers are playing on what frets. First of all, the notes. That'll be helpful. On the high E string, third fret G, second fret F sharp, open E. On the B string, third fret D, second fret C sharp, open B. On the G string, third fret A sharp, second fret A, open G. On the D string, second fret E, open D. On the A string, second fret B, first fret A sharp, open A. On the low E string, third fret G, low E string, right there. There's a couple other notes at the end with slides, and I'll show you those. Now, as far as what fingers play what notes, your ring finger will almost exclusively play all the third fret notes. Your middle finger will almost exclusively play all your second fret notes. And then your index or first finger, pointer finger, will play almost exclusively all your first fret notes until the very end. When I get to the low E string, my middle finger will play the third fret and my index finger will play a second fret note. Okay, let's start very slowly and show you exactly what's going on. Okay, pick the third fret of the high E string and the second fret of the high E string. Pull off the second fret of the high E string to the open E. Let's go to the B string. Pick the third fret, pick the second fret, pull off to the open B. To the G string, pick the third fret, pick the second fret, pull off to the open G. Oops. On the D string, pick the second fret, pull off to the open D. On the A string, pick the second fret, pick the first fret, pull off to the open A. A little sour. Okay, on the G, low E string, Pick the third fret, and then pull off to the open E. Okay, now I'm going to play it that far using the hammers and the pull-offs. With a nice little vibrato on the E here. Once again. Failed to tell you after you pull off to the open E, low E, then your index finger goes to the second fret D string to play that E note there. Now I continue from here to the seventh fret of the A string, from the second fret of the D string with my first finger. I'll glide my finger along the A string. Sliding it on top, making contact downward about the D, and then sound 
an E note on the seventh fret of the A string. It's a unison note, identical. Second fret A string, second fret D string, excuse me, and seventh fret A string are identical notes, different notes actually, same tone. And then the last two notes that I hit are your high open E, and then slide up to the fifth fret of the B string. Once again, these are identical tones, separate notes. This E and this E are unison notes. I glide my finger, make contact on the string the entire time, and push downward about the third fret and slide up to the fifth. slowly. I'll do it again telling you what you're going to do as far as picking or pulling off. Pick, pick, pull, pick, pick, pull, pick, pick, pull. on both this E and this E. If you'd like some further information as far as listening goes, from where I picked up this particular technique, you can go way back in your archives to the 70s and listen to some classic players like Ronnie Montrose from Warner Brothers Presents, the Montrose album Warner Brothers Presents, the player Ronnie Montrose. I don't know how he continues to elude some of the best guitar players of all time as far as rock players go but the guy is a god. And another player to listen to is Ronald Doge Rozier of Blue Oyster Cult. The first album, first couple albums, you really hear some fine playing at the open frets right in here. Let me play these again. At tempo, I really hope you enjoyed this lesson. Come see me again at weirdguitarlessons.com. Thanks.